Hi everybody! So today we'll continue with my favorite author, Benji Davies, and the second book that he wrote about the storm whale. It's called The Storm Whale in Winter. And if you know me, you know that winter is my favorite season because we get all of this glorious snow shell egg as we call it in the green room um, so today we'll read about the storm whale and what happens to him in the winter time and i need to tell you some parts of this book there's a little bit of suspense that means sometimes when you read it you're uncertain and a little scared about what's going to happen next but as you know we've read this story it does have a happy ending okay the end pages for the storm whale in winter, it's just snow. It's just my favorite thing. If you've ever been out in a snowstorm, this is sort of what it looks like. You can't see anything that's far away. You can't see anything that's close up. All you can see is the snow flying in your face. Let's check out the title page. Huh. The storm whale in winter. Nice and bright white, but then we see, aha, remember the dad goes out fishing. That's his fishing net, that's his fishing bucket, but no dad. And then we see a little sneak peek on the dedication page. We see Noi, remember him? Still drawing pictures of his friend, the storm whale. Looks like he's maybe using some oil pastels now. And you can see some of his old drawings. Are he and his dad in the boat? The storm whale and the storm whale's mom or dad. The storm whale in the bathtub. And we still see a lot of cats. Ah winter on the beach. Noi lived with his dad and six cats by the sea. Last summer, Noi rescued a little whale after a storm washed it ashore. He and his dad took it back to the sea where it belonged, but Noi could not forget his friend. And if you look, you'll see he's searching out to sea for his friend. There's the dad. They're still in their same house, still by the ocean. And I bet if you look, you might still be able to find those six cats. And it looks like the dad is making some fishing net, which you can do in the winter time when you can't go fishing. Now and then, he thought he caught a glimpse of the whale, its tail tipping the waves in the distance. So way out far away on the beach, he saw what he thinks is the tail of the whale. And look, look, you can tell he's running again. He's so excited. But it was always something else. Mm. He got there. Look, look at his face so disappointed it looks like a little an old piece of a ship um some other beach stuff that just kind of looked like a whale tail poor noi winter was settling in and all around the island the sea slowly filled with ice noi's dad took one last trip on his fishing boat so remember there's noi and he's home with his cats waving to his dad he's going out on the ocean no babysitter no grown-ups no nannies no grandmas no grandpas just noi and his cats when the darkness fell that evening his dad was still not home and noi began to worry now if you remember from the storm whale when it got dark, that's when the dad came home. That's when he was done fishing for the day. But this time, dad didn't come home. Hmm. 
you can tell Noi's looking out the window to the sea to try and spot his dad's boat. Noi watched and waited, waited and watched. Suddenly, he saw something out at sea. It was his dad. It had to be. So that's what Noi's thinking. Oh, that has to be my dad. So look, he's getting his boots on. I see a lantern. I see a yellow raincoat. He counted all six cats safe inside and dashed down to the shore. Now I'm glad Noi is taking care of the cats, but do you think he should go out to the ocean by himself at night? I don't think so. That's a job that takes a grown up to come with you. Noi dragged his boat to the water's edge, but the sea was frozen hard. I must be careful, he thought, stepping out onto the thick ice. Now my friends, I know you would never step onto ice on any kind of water if you didn't have a grown up with you telling you it was safe. What Noi's doing is very dangerous, very dangerous. And look, look what happens to him next. He gets out into the middle of the ice and the snow starts to surround him and he can't see anything. This is very dangerous for him. The farther Noi went, the harder the snow fell until everywhere looked the same. Noi was lost. Then, up ahead, he saw a gray shape flickering in the lamplight. See, there's his little lamp he's holding. And that's what he sees. Wow. Look, this is all snow that's falling down on him. And he sees this gray shape way out in the middle of the ice. So he heads towards it. It was his dad's boat stuck in the ice. Noi quickly clambered aboard. Wow. That's a big boat to be stuck in the ice. Dad? Noi called. Looks like his dad was there. There's his raincoat, a little tea kettle, some tea, maybe a little can of beans, a map that shows you where you're going, fishing trap, some rope. But his voice echoed. The boat was empty. Noi didn't know what to do. As he curled up tight, he imagined the deep sea swirling beneath him, and he began to feel afraid. Poor Noi. Now, my friends, this shows us the underneath of the boat. That right there, that's the bottom of Noi's dad's boat. We know Noi's in the boat, and look! who's swimming underneath it. <gasps> Do you know who that is? That's the storm whale. And look, his whole whale pod is around him, his whole whale family. They're also swimming around the bottom of the boat. Here's what the words tell us. Then, through the darkness, the boat went bump. Who do you think bumped into the boat? I think so. I think the storm whale. Look, you can you can tell by the picture. There's Noi in his raincoat, flickering the lamp down, and who came to talk? Who came to see him under the under the ice? There he is. Here's what the words say. It was the storm whale. The whole family had come to help Noi. Wow, that's a lot of help if you have all those big whales coming. The whales pushed their noses into the cold night air. 
Wow, look, they're breaking the ice. That's the ocean under there. They sang through puffs of steam and spray as the ice cracked and crunched. Somehow they knew where to go. So look, at the front of the boat, there's Noi. And you can see the whales are pushing the boat along. They're pushing them through the ice, breaking the ice. And then we get a clue way in the distance of how they knew which way to go. That's a lighthouse. Yeah, and it's shining its light to show any stuck boats which way it is to land. When the boat bumps up on the shore, look who comes out from the lighthouse. Who is that? Yeah, that's Noy's dad. And you can tell by the sky that the night is over, that the sun is, is coming up. Here's Noy. You can tell he's running again, running to his dad. There's the boat, and there's the trail of broken ice where the whales pushed the boat to safety. The little boat thumped hard against the rocks. Dad! cried Noy. Noy, what are you doing here? said his dad. I just had to find you, said Noy. And look, they're having a nice hug again. Look at their faces. They both seem so happy to see each other. As winter slowly turned to spring, they often spoke of that cold, icy night. The night the fishermen had rescued Dad, and the storm rail, the storm whale, had rescued Noi. And Noi would smile. Because it was the night his friend came back. There's the storm whale coming up to the boat to say hello. There's Noi. There's Dad. There's the storm whale's family. And look, Noi and his dad gave their boat a new name. Every boat has a name, and they named this boat the storm whale. On the very last page, we see Noi waving to his friend as he swims out to the ocean. And then that swirling snow again for the end page. Wow. I don't know if we'll see snow again because it's March, it's almost springtime, but we'll definitely see the storm whale again in our next video.